and welcome to my channel. Um, so I, my name is Faye and my channel is going to be all about the journey with my horse. Uh, I'm not the most amazing rider in the world but um, follow what reality is. And I have done um, a few little bits with him now and got him to the point where he is quite established in walk, trot, canter and he can jump. I had originally made um, a little montage of everything that we've done so far but I made it in iMovies on my phone and the content was too large to move anywhere. So if I manage to get it moved and upload it, I will. But if not, we're starting from now. Anywhere I go, any um, training that we do, any exercises that I think are really good for any horse, especially ex-race horses or people that are at a similar level to me then or let even lower level um, you can come along and find out what I'm doing um, and I'm really looking forward to the journey and also just being able to look back and see um, you know how far we've come and to see whether we make it to do a B80 or B90. Um, I'm just really looking forward to the next couple of years if I can get out and about, especially this year at unaffiliated level, I'm hoping to do a whole of doing B80s next year. So come around with me. Hello, so I thought I'd just come on and say that um, obviously I was meant to go to a one day event yesterday at Blackwater Farm, um, we didn't end up going and um, so Hardy has had a couple days of resting, eating, uh, well actually one day because I lunged him Saturday morning and turned him out in the field all day ready to then come in and get him ready, washed and ready. I've already punched them up, left them in, so I'm just laying his mane instead. And um, I was meant to obviously get him washed and actually plaited up when he came in. But he came in with a puppy leg. So it's this one here. Um, and hence that he's got these ice boots on this morning. I'm just going to take the ice boots off and it feels so much better now but um, it's still just a little bit just a little bit puffy um, so I'm going to pop him out in the field on it this morning um, to see whether it comes up anymore and put his ice boots on back, back on again tonight and hopefully that will put us on track back to getting back to normal work again. I just need to start moving it though. 
I think. I don't know. We will see. He doesn't go mad in the field and he's hopefully going to be just standing in the corner waiting for me to come get him in. He usually does. So, ice boots off. For a second, come back and get them. Take his bib off because it's a little bit sunny out there today. I'll try and do it with one hand. But when you're getting too hot, if you're a little hot bean, aren't you? The shoulders look good. Sometimes they just get a little bit of rub on their, sh on their shoulders, so that's why I use the bib. Sorry. Trying to take the massage pad off with one hand. Look how shiny it is. Looks so nice. Is it gone? Yes, there he is. So he's out in the field. Hopefully, just going to stand and walk around on it. And if it can't take being walked around on. Um, and doing whatever he would normally do in the field, then I'm definitely not going to a hunter trial next Sunday, really. Um, because I don't think he's going to gallop round on it, particularly. But if it's going to come up worse for going out in the field, then I kind of want to know now, rather than running round Tetworth and find out that he's not going to take it. So, because I don't actually know what he's done to it. If it's just a little knock, that's great. But if it's anything more damaging, then it's not gonna, it's not gonna do very well being walked on too much. And he is going backwards and forwards in the stable, so it's not like he's not doing anything. Sorry, you can't see me now. Um, so yeah, we will see. Hi, um, so on the Tuesday, Hardy came back in and he was um, unsound. Um, so he came back in and um, was on box rest on the Wednesday and Thursday. Um, and I had the vet plan to come out on Thursday. On Thursday, his leg with the ice and staying in had gone back to normal. So I realized that um, staying in was making his leg better. Icing his leg was making his leg better. But if he was to go out on it, I was worried that he was gonna come in unsound again. Um, so basically what we did um is i stopped the vet from coming because she wanted to um scan him and um i from bringing him back in and um the the fact that it'd gone back to normal again i realized that maybe it wasn't anything too serious well i don't didn't know what it was but i thought if i can try and rest him a little bit longer and then hopefully go from there and that's basically what we did so he was i trotted him up on the thursday morning before cancelling the vet and he trotted up sound i still rested him for another day and then on the friday i started just doing five minutes of walking him in hand every day just to get him out of his stable but didn't let him go out in the field um, to get him moving it again. Can you see? Um, dun, dun. So yeah, by the following week, um, nearly a whole week basically, um, I had been walking him in hand and then his leg was staying down and 
cold and um, back to normal. This is the extent of our fun at the moment, walking. So we've started at five minutes, morning and evening. Ooh. Thanks for that. We're not walking on the road, by the way. <laughs> and using the stopwatch to do our walking. It's the only use it's probably going to get this year, so might as well. And they're shining. And I still daren't turn him out on it until I'd worked him a little bit more. So I sat him on him on the Wednesday, again just in walk. Sat on him on the Thursday, just in walk. And then the Friday, walked him in hand, didn't sit on him. And then on the Saturday, I took him out for a hack which was interesting because he did have one moment I'd actually planned to just walk around the block it was um, the Saturday in between Good Friday and Easter Sunday and I would planned to go around the block with my friend and um, I went and walked around in the indoor school which I'd walked around on the Wednesday obviously bearing in mind he's not going out in the field so he's effectively a horse that's on box rest and uh, he came very explosively out of the indoor school um, so that was interesting nearly fell off him and then uh, Sunday I got up early hacked him again and did the tiniest little trots and Monday got up early got him out and hacked him and then it brings us on to Tuesday which I'm about to show you the day in the life so you can see exactly what I did um, so we're gonna come back here tomorrow to do a day in a life um, I have got to ride I have got to do children's school holidays and also come back and do the horse. I need to muck out. Um, I don't need to poo pick as such. You'll find out why tomorrow um, because my horse is on limited turnout at the moment. Um, it should be good fun.
just getting all my stuff on and I'm about to go out for a hack. The boys are with Sam so this is the best time, it's about seven o'clock and this is the best time to get out for a ride because I haven't got the boys with me which means that I can go out on the road because um, obviously if I've got them with me I either can't go out on the road and I have to ride in the field or I just can't ride at all. So have to do it this early in the morning, which Hardy is happy about because then I end up being a normal horse owner and getting up early, which I don't use. Let's go. So I don't brush him too much in the morning um, because we're all ready to go. Um, I don't brush him too much in the morning, especially when it's cold because, um, yeah, I don't want him to get cold. So I only just brush where I need to and I've picked out his feet and we are ready to go.
I've um, ridden and I have actually put Hardy out in the field for the first time. I've ridden him every morning um, since Saturday. So, um, yeah, I've put him out in the field for the morning. Um, so hopefully he's a good boy and doesn't do anything naughty. Um, and I am now on my way home to go and swap with my husband so that he can go to work. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm off to now and get some breakfast because I haven't yet had breakfast. Um, so I try and the riding is the most important thing to do without and then I can um, I can muck out later and do nighttime hay and I made up feeds last night so I haven't got to do that and I'll show you how I normally do that um, later as well. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. I'm watching. Tuesday then you like it but <laughs> if it's Wednesday, you won't. Because it's going to be Tuesday. And okay. we are, we're going to do Tuesday. So I'm, I'm, watching, I'm watching a show that the boys have made for me while I've been <coughs> out riding. <coughs> It's the, the box monster. Ah. Should have made sure my hair was hair was done before. This is our that we made. We made it all by It's only Billy, the keeper of this. It's only Billy. What have we done, boys? We've been and got Hardy in. No, Mum, it will get the, the air freshener in. Yeah, Mum, it will get the air freshener out, So, what have we done, boys? We have. We done. went to go and get Hardy in so That's that he wasn't out all day. We've mucked out the stable before he came in, put some hay in his stable of some new haylage that we had delivered today, and we also changed him into a lighter rug because it's got yeah. a bit milder since this morning. It's now 14.5 degrees. Wait, is that so cold? It's warm. That's so warm? Yeah. Um, Went and ran a few errands this morning, didn't we boys? We went to grandma's, had some wait, lunch we, there. Wait, no we didn't have lunch there. We did. We did it. You did? No, we just, we didn't, we just um, went to and lunch. No, the other grandma's. You had lunch there.
Mom, can I make a timer for two minutes? You have less than 10 seconds left on your one minute timer. Mom! Okay, right, leave her alone, please. Let's go! No, you don't. You need to be nice to her. Oh, yeah. Mom, can I make a timer for two minutes? You have seconds left. left on your 50 second timer. So. I am walking the dogs. I chose the wettest time of the day to walk the dogs because now it's raining. It hasn't been raining all day, so winter headband back on and walking across the field and the boys came with me but they're over at the yard with Sam I'm for a walk on my own and they get to see Sam for a little bit so they love it and we just walk across the field run across the field So we've got, this is where I bought Hardy on my first vlog, um, the bit where I took him out for the first time, I just bought him here and hacked him because it's just grass and country roads that are great for hacking, um, great for hacking on roads, not great for really going on the farmer's fields but I thought someone was whistling for the dogs but it was just bad and I chose the wrong footwear to come walk across this field because I chose trainers and my toes are getting a bit wet I should have come with my wellies on I was thinking it was warmer than it was and it wasn't say sorry I look awful but I'm warm but I'm actually not on the beach freezing which means I need to get to the yard Hardy's not out in the rain but he doesn't have exactly the thickest rug on in his stable so I'm gonna go and change him and hay him for the night and feed him for the night so still got that to do had a bit of a other than making dinner and trying to tidy the house. Um, had a bit of, uh, I've done nothing kind of afternoon where I didn't walk the dogs earlier. I was waiting in for a delivery as well. So that made me not be able to go anywhere until a certain time, which was annoying. Um, 
but yeah. So I'm gonna go before my phone gets too wet. Well, my feet are certainly wet, but I've made myself a nice hot cup of tea in a flask, in a, um, you know, like a travel mug, ready for my drive to the yard, which is good. Can't wait. <laughs> uh, the littlest things. So, then we had, sorry, I'm yawning straight away. Um, so we had then a week of, um, a week of just walk and trot. Um, and then on the, um, I knew that on the Wednesday I wanted to come to him, um, but he was so fresh. So I was a little bit worried about kind of cantering him too much without him having been out in the field. So what I did is on the Sunday, I stuck him out for an hour while I was there in the evening. So he'd had the morning um, hack. I'd taken him out for a hack in the morning. And then in the afternoon while I skipped out his stable, I just stuck him out in the field for one hour half an hour whatever it was um, and then I got him in Tuesday morning hacked him out um, yeah so Tuesday I put him out all morning um, and went and got him in half day that was what you've just seen in my day of life so halfway through the day went to the yard, got him skipped out, and got him in again early. So I went three times that day, um, which I do have to do sometimes, you know, with the weather change or, or whatever, sometimes you have to nip down during the day and do something or change something. Or, um, sometimes I only want him in or out half day rather than the full day, especially if I'm gonna be late in the evening, um, I'll go and get him in a little bit earlier so that, um, if I come back at seven, eight o'clock at night, if I've been out somewhere, um, that he's already in rather than out waiting for me. Because he's still in at night and out during the day. Although I did try and change. Yeah, so um, there we are. It's a little bit of a lowdown of what we've been doing so far. So we've started walk trot cantering now. Um, and you'll be able to see, um, you know, I've cantered him out hacking and I cantered him and then join me then for my next vlog where I'll be doing my first um, little outing out again.